Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Bobby D. Rob Decker. Uh, I guess uh, I just thought I'd make a, a just like a vlogger type video for my YouTube channel. Um, uh, I guess the reason being. Uh, I'm just feeling really uncomfortable right now. I'm like way out of my comfort zone right now. Uh, the reason being I gotta get some serious blood work done tomorrow morning at 11. Uh, I could have had it scheduled earlier, but I just thought, uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, they told me don't eat anything past midnight so um, it's like I'm supposed to fast they're gonna check like uh, blood sugar and cholesterol and I guess a few other things thing is I, I don't honestly know if I can handle getting all that blood work on such a long fast cuz I'm, I'm really uh, prone to getting like dizzy getting all just faint and nauseous even if I go a certain amount of time without nourishment I actually feel like vomiting it's, it's weird that I've been like that for, for a long time uh, I, I had like a high blood sugar reading back in 06 10 years ago because uh, I didn't fast before getting it and they didn't even tell me to fast prior and so I didn't I had I remember like a nice big bowl of oatmeal before I went there I still remember I had all this uh, sugar like I got the sugar in the raw it's kinda like a brown sugar type of thing turbinero sugar or something like that it's called I remember having a lot of that I used to use on my oatmeal back in you know back in the day these days, I rarely eat oatmeal. I mostly stick with like uh, those Kashi cereals, you know, like whole grain type, hearty type cereals. And I stick with either coconut milk or almond milk or walnut milk even. So yeah, you know, uh, I'm really not used to fasting because I go a certain amount of time without nourishment in my body and I just I just start feeling downright sick like I'm gonna puke so I I don't know if I can really do a full-fledged fast like that before getting all that blood drawn because I know it's gonna be like several tube vial type things they're gonna you know, tubes or vials whatever you want to call them they're gonna draw a few of them from me so you know I I don't think I can handle that on a like a full-fledged fast I'm thinking you know you know because also my nerves I just, I, I just naturally feel really nervous before getting blood drawn it's just the way I've always been um, there's just something about it, it just it, I just getting the life sucked out of me it just it makes me feel so weak you know, it's not really so much the pain of the needle, you know, the pinch of the needle. It's not really that. It's just, it's just the idea of having the vitality sucked right out of me. It's like, it's like a giant robotic mosquito just letting the thing suck piles of blood out of me. It's very unappealing to me. Always was. Um... So yeah, I just thought, you know, after my shift today, I did my uh, four to nine shift today at work, and it went freaking slow as hell. Five hour shift feels like 10 hours in that place, in that damn grocery store. I swear, just beats the shit out of me, that job. And I was all shaky. My body was lacking, so I went ahead, you know, went to Burger King. 
I don't normally go there. I just go there in a pinch every now and again. If I feel like I really need, uh, you know, I, I need the protein, you know, start feeling too weak to, you know, wait till I get home and cook myself stuff. I just, I start feeling too weak. So I'm just like, screw it. I'm going to walk right over there. It's right next to where I work. So yeah, I went there and, you know, got myself three double cheeseburgers to go. And then I walked back to my job, you know, in the break room and I had two of them. And my third one is in my fridge. I have that tomorrow, I guess. Probably I'll have it like after the blood work or something, whatever. But going back to the blood work, yeah, I don't think I'm going to fast. I, I just, I don't think I can. Like, and that's another reason why I decided to make this video. I was thinking maybe people could uh, maybe inform and enlighten me a bit with all those things. You know, I'm not like the best when it comes to like specific medical knowledge. It's like the thing is, I feel like my body is different from the average person's body. I just feel like I got a ultra high metabolism and uh, that has a lot to do with things. And, uh, you know, and I, I have very low body fat, you know, as you can, you can clearly see. You can't see any fat on me, you know? There's just like no fat on me, you know? See? I mean, look at that. There's no fat. And no fat on me. See? No fat. It's just total muscle. I'm very low body fat, so my body's different. You know, I, I gotta like eat, like literally round the clock. Like if I go so much as maybe four hours without eating even even when I'm just sleeping like I'll get up in the middle of the night and I got to eat some because I start I start feeling like nauseous like I can't go back to sleep I and I know four hours that's not enough sleep for me I, I prefer seven or eight sometimes nine you know depending on how fatigued my body is from all the daily activities I I do you know I work six days a week, you know, and I bust my butt, and I and I work out all the time too, like several times every day. I work out. I'm just always working out. I'm just always eating. I'm always hungry, you know. Uh, like I said, I, I I can't go so much as like four hours without eating, let alone uh, the eleven hours they're asking me to do. You know, they're saying, "Oh, don't eat anything past midnight." You know, and then all the way till tomorrow, 11 in the morning, I, ha I got to have nothing in my body. I mean, you got to be out of your freaking mind. I, I can't do that. I'm going to be nauseous as it is. And then the blood work, I'm going to like black out. And that's another thing I'm concerned about. I'm, I'm afraid I could go blind or some from like blacking out. You know, because I'm already going to be really drained and nauseous. And also, I might have to ride my bike there. And it's going to be like a, what, 10-mile bike ride if I do, in fact, have to bike ride. I actually prefer to bike ride there because I'm going to have such massive butterflies in my stomach. I don't know if I can be in a car, you know. I was going to have somebody pick me up, but they might not be able to do that, so... I might just have to bike ride. I think I would prefer it anyway. It would like help my nerves anyway. And I just figure, you know, maybe drink a whey protein shake and have some peanuts, you know, and then bike ride there, you know. And uh, if I get things going early enough, I can stop in at the park there in the same town that the doctor is at that I'm getting the blood work and I can. Maybe do some chin-ups or something. Get the veins really popping. That way the blood work will go smoother. But anyway, I'm coming up on 10 minutes. So I just wanted to make this video. And hopefully I'll get some uh, advice from all you viewers. So ho uh, I hope to hear from some of you real soon. All right, in the meantime, adios. Take care. Bye.